How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be going over JSON and how to use JSON in messages and how to use the chat serializer. I realized that in my last video where I talked about titles, I didn't really explain chat serialization in a way that could really be understood. Um, and so I want to take the time out now to make it so everyone understands sort of how chat serialization works. And I also found a really, really great link um, that I will share with you guys from the Minecraft forum that goes over how to use uh, the JSON. It tells you how to use it in game, but the same concept can be pretty much applied to using it in code. You just have to remember to throw your slashes in um, because your slashes are going to be very important. And once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub, so make sure to go check that out. So today we're just going to be doing a couple simple things. Uh, one of the first things we're going to do here is fix my microphone so the wire is not right in my way. And we're just going to go ahead and say event handler and we're just going to do this on a public void uh, interact and we'll just say player interact event event and you can go ahead and just import that so the first thing we have to do is we obviously have to create our player because the player is going to be pretty essential here and um, the great thing about this is this is actually, well, it's not really too great. You can do all of this by simply using the bungee cord chat. You don't have to use chat serialization to do what we're about to do. Uh, Bucket and Spigot have been really, really great about making it really easy to send really creative messages. Um, and I can do a video about that, but if you literally just Google um, Spigot chat component or chat API, it is super simple and super to the point. Um, and like super super easy um, but if you guys want a video on it I can certainly showcase it um, but if you guys want to do it the packet way um, you can certainly go ahead and do it this way but the next thing we have to go ahead and say is we have to say I chat base component and I just did the quick quick thing there and then we're just gonna say well actually we'll say component because that's what it actually is and then we just need to go ahead and say chat serializer dot a once again you guys should remember this and we'll just put double quotes in there for right now and then we will go ahead and end that there and now before we um, go ahead and do all the chat serialization stuff I'm just gonna finish the rest of this stuff here so we're just gonna go ahead and say packet play out chat and we're going to say chat and this is going to just be a new packet play out chat and it is just going to take component pretty simple there and now this is the part where we had a little bit of trouble last time because you can't really you have to know this because you can't just import this um, on its own right so this is just going to be double parentheses and then inside the one parentheses you're gonna say craft player and then you're just going to go ahead and say git handle and now you kinda of have to know the format for all these um, and sort of the conventions and then we're gonna say git player or player connection dot send packet chat and now we can go ahead and import all that and there you go now you can see that it works so to send the message this is all you need right here these really these three lines of code um, you could even make it into one line of code it'd be really really slop or two lines of code it'd be really kind of sloppy and messy but you could certainly do it um, and so now the next part here is where it gets sort of confusing right so we need to go ahead and throw in double squiggly brackets okay and now each component inside of a chat serialization is separated by a backslash so that that a um that squiggly bracket there is now separated from the rest and now we can put in a new component which is then used by a quotation mark and then what it is and then another backslash and then another quote okay so now this component here you need a quote the component and then a backslash so now we have our text component but the value that goes with the component has to be separated by a colon and then you have to separate that colon with a backslash because that colon is technically its own component 
it's it's component into the larger component and sorry if there's a lot of pop going on my microphone component has a lot of peas in it i'll try to steer away when i say the peas so then the next thing we have to do is now that we have this next backslash here we have to go ahead and add another quotation point or point mark and then we're going to put in our value and then we're going to end this component with a backslash quota quotation so now if we go ahead and export this, you know, this is going to bother me. There we go. Capital H. And now if we go ahead and export this, we can simply just reload here. Oops, I uh, I changed the name of this. Let me just change that back. Rename. Okay. So now if we go ahead and export this and reload. Now when we interact, you can see there it says hello. And I mean, that was a very simple message. There are lots of things you can do in this. You can do hover events, you can do click events. Um, obviously, you can change the colors or you can just use the symbols, which is probably what I will do most times just because it is a lot easier and a lot less line or a lot less to code. Um, sh probably shouldn't do it. It's not really too bad, um, but it's not the best. So now that we have this singular, technically, I would consider this right through here one singular um i guess component is easy the best word um one part of this message this this chat serialization but we want to do another thing right we want to have a hover event so what we need to do is now we need to separate this component with our next set of components right so this is like, I don't know how to explain this in a way that like these two things must go together. Like they're just, they're like keys and values more or less. If you think in like an array, like this is the key and this is the value. I guess that's probably the best way to explain it, right? So you need a key and then you need a value. So if we want another key and value, we have to separate it by a comma. And now the same thing happens. We need to put a backslash to separate that comma because it's technically its own component. It's the component of it saying that everything else is separated, right? So then we need another quotation mark. So then we go ahead and say hover event. And then, of course, backslash quotation. And then we need the, the value to this key, right? So the value to this key is, um, this one's a little bit longer, a little bit more strange. Um, this is technically its own section again, or it's technically its own major component, right? So this is a major, one major component, everything inside these brackets here, right? So now we need a second major component. I hope I'm explaining this in a way that makes sense. I know I said component for a while in the beginning, but think of these as keys and values, like an array, a key, in value or not an array a hash map so key value okay so now we need another larger component right so we need to go ahead and say brackets um, open and close squiggly brackets but again we have to separate this com that squiggly bracket component with a backslash right and then we need to go ahead and put in another quotation mark so we can start our new key which is going to be action and then we need backslash um, quotation point mark. I don't know why I keep saying point. Then we need the key. So we need to put in a semicolon so we can get the key. But then we need to separate the semicolon component with a backslash. And now the next thing we want our action to be is show. We're going to we're going to do show text. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. You can do show achievement. You can show item. You can show entity um, or you can show text. Um, so we're just going to show text because I think that's probably one of the easier ones to do. So now that we have this um, separated, we can go ahead and say show underscore text. And now we backslash, we quotation mark. And now we need to use comma because we're adding a new key and value inside of our, inside of this major component, right? So then we need to go ahead and backslash that. And then we need to throw in some quotes and we're just going to press enter here just so we can see this a little bit better so now that we separate that comma we need to go ahead and put in a quote there which we already did and now we need to say value because that's what it is and then backslash quotation and then we will we need the we need the key or we need the value to this key this is kind of confusing here because this is value 
um, but it's the value of the show text here. So don't worry too much about that. Don't get hung up on the these little things like um, like the naming conventions. Like I said, I'll have a link down below where you guys can go ahead and check out a really great forum post which showcases all of these. Um, but then what you can do, so now that we have our value and we have our uh, colon, we have to obviously separate that colon component, throw in some more quotations, and then we want to just say, uh, we're just going to use simple colors here and be like, this is totally not here. And then we will just go ahead and say backslash colon or backslash quotation. And if you have this, you should always have double brackets ending together. And you sort of brackets should usually end together because, you know, they should. Unless you obviously put things after this. So now if we go ahead and export this, and we hit here, we oops, we go into our chat and we hover over it, this is totally not here. So you can do a lot of really, really cool things with um, chat. Like I said, there is a much easier way to do this and you don't have to do it in this big, huge, long fashion here. Um, but if for some reason you wanted to do it that way or you had to do it that way, um, I don't really know of a reason why you would have to do uh, with the chat based component uh, instead of just using you know the bungee or the uh, spigot API for chat um, but if you did you guys now know how to do it and I hope you guys understand JSON a little bit better and the formatting a little bit better pretty much everything like I said everything has a key and a value and the keys and values are separated by colons and now this whole component here is separated by a comma backslash at least in um, Java and then bucket here in regular like JavaScript um, you don't have to put in uh, the backslash I don't believe um, from what I remember you don't have to put that in but if you guys enjoy this video be sure to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe um, I hope I explained that good good enough for you guys. Leave your thoughts down below. I'm really curious. Also, make sure to join our Discord. Link in the description. Or if you guys want, you can just go ahead and head to discord.tsc-coding.com and it will hyperlink you right to our Discord invite link. And thank you all so much for watching. And come back on Tuesday.